and welcome back to Smoky Ribs. Today I'm going to be doing a recipe that I have been seeing on my Facebook feed for weeks now. Every time I see this picture, I'm like, ooh man, I've got to try that. So today is the day, but I'm going to put a twist to it, unlike the recipe. And speaking of the recipe, I googled it, and man, there are just a lot of people on the internet, different websites that had the same recipe, so I don't know who to give credits to, but uh, I'm going to be putting my own twist to it. Number one, they're going to be done on the smoker. Number two, they're going to be used with real steak, a New York strip steak, instead of the, uh, the deli roast beef like a lot of the recipes call for, which is going to give it another great element with some seared steak on there. And there's one more key ingredient that I'm going to add that is not listed on the other recipes. And what I'm talking about is a Philly cheese steak stuffed bell pepper. And that's what we're doing. So let's go ahead and get started by taking these two New York strip steaks and seasoning them up. All right, I have two good looking New York strip steaks here. And I'm just going to put the seasoning that I normally use on any steak. And that's simply some kosher salt. I'm going to add some black pepper. going to add a little cayenne pepper not a lot that ought to be plenty going to rub this in going to flip them over do the same thing a little kosher salt a little black pepper a little cayenne pepper all right i'll meet you out there at the kamado joe we're going to go ahead and get a good sear on these steaks All right, I got this Kamado up to a really hot sear and heat here. I got the uh, grill grates that I'm going to be doing these on. That always adds a very nice flavor to this meat because as the fat renders, it drips right below on this hot metal here and pushes that right back into the meat. Going to give it an incredible flavor. Going to be really good in these stuffed bell peppers. I just took the steaks off. I got a really good sear on both of these, and that's all we got is a sear. There's still plenty raw on the inside, which is what I want because they're going to be stuffed in the bell peppers, and we'll have to cook further out here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and remove this grate. All right, now I'm going to add in the deflector plate. And we're going to adjust this heat way on down to about 350 degrees. All right, we're going to put the grate back on here, just like that. I'm going to close this lid, and I'm going to choke this thing off. I'm going to adjust the bottom vent to probably about a half of an inch, and adjust this top one about half on the daisy wheel. We're going to go ahead and go inside, get these peppers put together, and get this Kamado time to cool down and get to our desired temperature, which is 350 degrees. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get all the ingredients ready for these stuffed bell pepper. And the first one is going to be one whole onion that I've got quartered. I'm going to go ahead and chop this. This little machine here makes life so much easier. And again. One more cool part about this if you are needing a certain amount like in cups it's got measurements right here half cup one cup one half two cup love this little thing I think I only paid like what was it fifteen dollars no, wasn't even that okay we'll be back all right I've got some baby Bella mushrooms that this recipe also calls for and this machine also works great on these I've already cleaned these and to clean a mushroom, you never really want to run it under water because they already hold a lot of moisture. 
you want to take paper towels and simply wipe them off. All right, I got about six of these to do. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. We'll be back. All right, now I'm going to take these uh, two New York strips, and I'm going to slice them just as thin as I possibly can all the way down. I'm going against the grain here. And we're going to have some slices just about like this here. And as you can see, that meat is actually raw, still in the middle. So this is going to work out just right. All right, I got all this steak cut up. And now what I'm going to do is I've got about one pound of provolone. I don't know that I'll need all of this, but uh, I got it out of the deli section at the supermarket. And I'm going to, going to go ahead and grate all that up. All right, the next step in doing this, you want to add about three tablespoons of some good extra virgin olive oil about three tablespoons and into that you want to put three tablespoons of real butter we're going to let that melt get happy we're going to throw the onions in we're going to throw the mushrooms in and i have two cloves of garlic that we'll throw in right there at the end we're going to go ahead and sweat these down on a medium heat low to medium heat and uh, let everything caramelize real good Right, at this point you want to add a little seasoning I've got seasoning on the steak your onions and your mushrooms also need some salt and pepper as well don't overdo it just put just enough to make them taste good that should be plenty right there we're gonna add a little bit of black pepper And a little bit more cayenne. All right, this is probably going to take somewhere around 15, 20 minutes to uh, cook down and get nice and caramelized. I've been going around 15 minutes, and these are looking pretty good. These are to my liking anyway. You could go a little bit more and get a little bit more brown on the onions, but uh, this is looking pretty good at this point. I'm going to throw in these two cloves of minced garlic that I did earlier. And I'm going to let those sweat for around a minute, just release their flavors. Okay, in with the meat. Alright, like I said earlier, I'm just going to simply stir this all in. And by the way, I took those strips of steak and I cut them into bite-sized pieces. It'll make all this blend in better. It'll be easier to stuff. And as you take a bite, you'll have little bites instead of a big, long piece of steak to deal with. All right, I'm gonna slide this off the heat, turn the heat off. All right, it's time to prep some bell peppers. Okay, what you wanna do is just take your bell pepper, try to find the largest ones you can. These are pretty good size here. And I'm just gonna simply remove the tops off of them. They go a little bit deeper than that. Okay, from there, you want to get the uh, seeds and all the veins out of the inside. Just like I'm doing here. Alright, from here I'm going to take them over to the sink and wash them out. Alright, it's time to get these peppers stuffed and get on with it. First thing I'm going to add in here is this secret ingredient I was telling you about that I don't see on any of the recipes that I looked at. This is a crema, crema Mexicana. And I know that this goes very well with these flavors because this is what I used as a base for the uh, Philly cheesesteak pizza I did. This flavor mixed with provolone is just, it, it gives you that true Philly cheesesteak flavor. So I'm gonna layer some of that in the very bottom. From there, we're gonna take some of this provolone cheese and lay right on top of it right now I'm going to add some of this stuffing that we made with the onions the mushroom the steak the garlic 
and we're going to start applying that in there filling it up all right now one thing i did notice on just about every photo that i've seen of the the different recipes the cheese on top they put it there at the very beginning and it put a nice brown like toasted look i don't like that on my cheese i don't like any brown i'd rather have it just melted so what i'm going to do is stuff these then we're going to take them out there and put them on a the smoker and let them begin to cook and i'm not going to add no more crema or cheese until right there at the end and just let it melt on it and we're going to call them done at that point and by the way this crema it holds up real well to heat it's similar to a sour cream but different really in flavor and it's got a lot more fat and oil in it and uh, it does really well under heat unlike sour cream the dairy product all right we're going to hold right there it's about leveled off that leave enough room for more crema and more cheese all right i've got these over in a pyrex dish and just like you would do in your home oven you want to put about one eighth of an inch deep water in the bottom of this pyrex dish and uh no different on the smoker it's just going to help stop these from burning on the end which it'll never get that hot this kamado joe is set at 350 degrees and i did just have to remove the deflector plate so i could put some smoke wood in there I'm going with two very small chunks of hickory, just enough, uh, enough to add a subtle flavor to this. Don't want to overpower it, just add a little smoke. That's another element that you don't see anywhere on the internet with this recipe that's going to add a tremendous amount of flavor to it. All right, I'll meet you outside. All right, I'm sitting right at 350 degrees. Got a good smoke coming out of here. All we're going to do at this point is lay this dish in here. close the lid we're gonna let this go until like I said I want the bell peppers nice and tender I don't want no half tender half raw bell pepper that's what makes these good so uh, I'm thinking probably 30 minutes give or take a little bit I'll be checking on them okay these peppers are tender they're looking good I've been going around 40 minutes about 10 minutes longer than I thought I had to at this point I'm gonna add some more of this crema this Mexicana crema all right, now we're going to add some more of this provolone grated cheese that I grated earlier. And all I'm going to do at this point is just leave this until everything is nice and melted on top. Like I said, I don't really want it browning. If it browns a little bit, that's fine. But I don't like a, a real brown, crusty cheese. I, I just, not, not like this anyway. And by the way, I had that pound of provolone cheese. And I only used about half of about eight ounces, and I still have more left, as you can see. So if you're taking notes on this recipe, you really don't need more than about eight ounces of uh, provolone. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this lid closed. And get back to cooking. This shouldn't take long, maybe five minutes or so. Don't those look good? All right, I'm going to go ahead and scoop one out of this plate here. And put over on my plate they're still pretty hot Ooh, they smell good mm. all right let's give it a try here look at the juices running out of that mm, 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 mm. absolutely delicious the way I kick this recipe up but was by using the uh, Mexicana crema for one thing. And the second way is to put it on the Kamado Joe. Add just that little subtle hint of smoke to it. It's just absolutely phenomenal. Y'all give this a try. Till next time, smoke your ribs.